All right. Welcome to the Life and Transitions Experts Podcast. Your host, Courtney Rollins here at the Life and Transitions Experts Podcast. We are focused on helping folks who are going through some of those big transitions. Uh, I like to say that we are focused on helping folks through with the property and the stuff when it relates to big transitions in life, such as probate. What is probate? If you're looking at this and um, you're going through probate, obviously you know what it is, but if not, and you just want general knowledge, probate is the actual legal act of settling the affairs of someone who's passed away. Whether you have a will or you don't have a will, there has to be a legal way to carry out the instructions based on the law and based on your will, uh, if you if you have one. If you don't have one, it absolutely has to go through probate so it can be administered through the the laws of the state that you reside in. Now, there are legal instruments for to help people avoid probate, and I highly recommend people avoid or set them up so that their family and people who are after them uh, can avoid probate because it is lengthy, it can be very expensive, and it is public. So if you want to protect some of the um, – protect information, if you want um, – so the process go a little smoother and you want to keep some of the assets and transfer that wealth of those assets that you've worked so hard in your life to, to collect to your family, then I highly recommend you think about ways to avoid probate and I can help you with that. I'm not an attorney. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not playing one on the YouTube channel. I'm, I do call myself a, uh, an expert because I am work. I am committed to gaining and learning as much as I can and sharing that. And that's an ongoing process, right? Um, but you can reach out to me. I have tools, resources to help you set up those um, those instruments you need and connect you to some vetted estate professionals that can fit uh, what your needs are, whether it's a, a complicated, huge estate or very small. I don't I just need someone to point me in the right direction. We can make that happen. All right. So today we're actually going to talk about uh, mobile homes and probate. And I've had the chance to work with a few mobile homes um, and I was actually surprised how they uh, are, are are seen. In North Carolina, property is not necessarily a probate. It's a non-probate asset, um, depending on if it's how it's deeded and if the will indicates some things. Um, but a mobile home is not considered a real property. It is considered a, it is considered personal property. It's a, it's property. It's a vehicle, a lot of mobile home. And so the process is a little bit different and it's not as complicated as I assumed. I was so surprised when I actually bought someone's um, property or bought someone's mobile home uh, who was going through probate. All she needed was the authority to be able to sell by being the executor. She could do that. And all we needed to do was go to a notary and transfer the deed based on the uh, price that we contracted. But let's dig in a little bit deeper. We're going to go over a few steps. These are seven to eight steps that you can uh, you can use. Uh, let's see. So share my screen. That's not the one I'm sharing. Boom. There it is. Share my screen. And let's rock. Present. All right, Canva. How to transfer title for the mobile home and probate. All right. Again, we went over probate is the legal process of settling the affairs of someone who's passed away. Yep. Um, so let's see. So I'm actually going to uh, discuss it with you because I see here that I, uh, hmm, let's see, how am I going to do this? Well, we'll discuss it. I guess my, my, let's see, I'll stop sharing. My, um, my notes that I use to create for that uh, is not on there, but I'm going to keep rock and roll. I'm just going to say them out loud because I did leave myself notes here. I uh, wish I had the screen for you. But <laughs> so uh, one thing you're going to do is gather the required documents that you need. All right. So you'll need to gather all the uh, items like the title. Um, if you have letters of administration or letters of testament because you are the executor or the uh, personal representative, uh, you'll go ahead and gather that so that you can show that you have the actual right to um, administer and things based on the estate. You may need an application for a duplicate title. So once you have authority to be the personal representative, which is the executor or the administrator, then if you need to fill out an application, you can fill out the form MVR-4 and provide your letters of testamentary or letters of administration. And that should be able to give you a duplicate title if you need the title, because you will need that to be able to uh, transfer. You also 
connect with a local notary or a local notary. There are tons of folks you just type into Google and you'll find a notary. Um, and once you've completed the application for the duplicate title, if you needed to do that, if you cannot find the title, um, or if you found the title and it's on the back of it, you see a transfer ownership. If it's all filled out because it's been transferred so many times, you may need to uh, fill it out. But once you fill it out, complete it, have it. Now, um, make sure that there aren't any liens or anything or any uh, disputed on the actual mobile home. This is very important to do so that you uh, don't sell a property that ends up a personal property. Someone has a, a lien on it. Um, you can use a closing attorney to, to do a quick check or um, you should be able to look at the uh, uh, you should be able to look at the recorded history of the deed to be able to see if there's any type of lien or judgments that are pressed against uh, that. And then you go to the notary and you get it done. You can visit a notary or all over the place. So you can find your local notary. They'll notarize it and you're good to go. Now, you also need to make make sure that you may have to pay. Uh, any fees that are, are associated. If there's a title fee, um, notary fees, all that stuff that's by the uh, DM, North Carolina DMV or you know notaries outside of that, you'll have to make sure you pay that and you're good to go. Make sure you keep a copy of all the documents, the notarized documents, all that stuff so that you can show that you've um, that it was uh, sold um, and that you, know, that you know you did it the proper way. Now, if you sold this and you use the funds to pay off debt or distribute to folks through the uh, probate process, make sure that you're accounting for that in the final accounting stage so that uh, that's accounted for. <laughs> All right, sorry that we didn't have any visual cues. You had to look at my my pretty face today. Um, I might do this video over again, actually, but this is live. So just like my Facebook message this morning, life, there's no dress rehearsal. This is life, this is love. So we're going to rock and roll with it. Shout out to Keith Lee, the new executive assistant that's helped me uh, with the video. It's going to be a tremendous help. It's going to help me focus on finding ways to help you all or you more. So thank you, Keith. And um, thank you all. Life and Transitions experts, let your light shine.